Welcome for joining me. I'm Mandy Chen, or you can call me Miss Mandy. Some of you have known me for a long time, and some of you maybe this is your first time to meet me, and nice to meet you. So I was a ballet instructor at Confident Ballet for 19 years, and I'm also a somatic movement therapist, a Pilates and yoga teacher. So today, um, I would like to offer you a stretching, a dynamic stretching that can help you to increase the flexibility for doing split. So, and doing splits, the two things that need to address is the opening, the opening in the front of the hip, the hip flexor, and also the lengthening of the back of the hamstring. So, and before we start, and one thing you can do by the end is um, we need the pop, like either yoga block, or some thick book. So doing splits that usually we are taught is, you know, like you can bring the leg out, you're gonna start to, it, which is pretty hard. So you can use the block and you're gonna stretch, you know, helping you assist you to stretch, but still <laughs> kind of difficult to do that. So before we really do the splits or using the pops, I'm gonna do this exercise with you. So you're gonna lie down on your back first. Legs in the parallel position, just like that, yeah? And you're going to bring your leg up first. You're going to stretch your leg as much as you can that you maintain the space underneath your lower back. So you're kind of in a neutral position. Just register how long your leg can go and you're going to flex the foot. Maybe this is good enough for now. So you're going to do three breaths. Inhale, exhale, relax, two, Relax and deep breath in and relax and just let go for a moment and that's good. Then we're going to continue and you're going to stretch again, go to the maximum strength length that you have. Then you're going to bring your leg close to using your hand and start to pull your leg close to your chest in the level that your hip is relaxed, not tense up at all. And then you start to feel that the lower back kind of flatten on the mat or the floor and please let it happen there yeah? so let the pelvis move and again you're gonna go to as much as you can you start to feel the intensity of the stretching and stay there not overwhelming your body right you're gonna just feel the sensation you're gonna do three breath inhale exhale inhale and exhale you can do up to nine breaths when you have time, okay? So you're gonna bring it down, back to parallel position. Then you're gonna continue to bring your leg to the side. And then from here, just relax your leg, but intentionally imagine that you feel this lengthening in the front of the hip, your knee pointing to the opposite direction. And then pay attention, your rib cage is relaxing. So no pushing of your lower back and just let yourself relax in this position. Inhale, three breath. And exhale, two, and three and then we're going to change to the next position is now moving your feet and you just roll yourself on your right hand side and then stretch your right arm make a pillow for your head and then stretch here then pick up your leg and then bring your leg back so that when you go to this position you feel i'm going to change my angle a little bit so in this position you're going to feel that your knee align with your hip and you feel some of the front of the hip open. You're gonna stay three breath, inhale, exhale. And checking in that when you maintain the lengthening of your opening in the front, you are not pushing your lower back, maintain that neutral position. Two, relax, and three. Then from there, you're gonna put your leg down, okay? Now I'm going to go back to the original position so you can understand these things. So you're going to bring your leg down, you're going to push yourself up. You push and you just simple push yourself tall so you're going to stretch and your leg can relax. You don't need to do much. The only thing you need to do, you push your arm, lengthen your spine as much as you can in a limo rotation, twisting position here. Gentle breath and deep release. Two, 
and three. Again, you can breathe up to six or nine breaths. And you're gonna go down. The longer actually is more effective, efficient for the stretching. Then we're gonna continue the same thing. We're gonna, the second set, you can start to pull your leg close to you. And then you can maybe start to feel that lower back rounding. And then you're gonna add the rounding of, of the body. So the more you pull your leg close to you, maybe you start to feel that the tailbone coming up, the pelvis coming up is okay. The only thing is make sure that you not let your leg open the supporting side. So you keep the supporting side on the floor while you're gonna pull your knee in and you let your pelvis come up a little bit, it's okay. And try to encourage the upper body go forward. We're gonna stay three breaths here. Inhale, release, exhale, encourage a bit more folding. Not pulling, but sense of folding forward to three. Again, up to six to nine breath. If you have more time, lengthen and then bring it down. Both feet back to power position. I'm going to change my angle again. And then you're going to swing your leg to the side. And then from here, we're going to add something more. So my right hand bend, and then I'm using my left elbow to your left hand to pull my right elbow across to the opposite away from my knee. And I look away from my knee. You're going to say three breaths, inhale. Two, three. Again, if you have more time, you can do, do more. I'm gonna change the angle so you can see what it looks like. So it will be like this. So I'm moving, stretch to opposite direction and try to keep the angle so you can kind of feel the shoulder blade wrapping around and stretch furthermore. And then I'm gonna go back to the sideline pick up my knee and then bring my leg back. Same thing, I'm gonna try to stretch in front of the hip, keep the lower back relaxed, so you're not overstretch uh, or pushing your lower back. Three breaths, one, inhale, release, two, or three. Again, more breath if you have more time. And then just let your leg come down, push yourself up. And we're going to add some variation here. So you're going to push in here. This time you're going to add your left hand on your right shoulder. And using your left elbow to guide you to rotate. And you look kind of behind your, your shoulder. Three breaths. And your right hand keep pushing. Legs relax. Two. Breathe in. Open the body and release. Three. Maybe do one more time. And then you're gonna bring yourself back down and lying on your back. Then we're gonna do the three, the third set. So this time we're not stopping too long. We just kind of do one more flow, one flow of movement here. So bring your leg up, go as far as your body allow you, and you're gonna breathe in, breathe out, bring your leg down, roll to the um, Drop the knee, excuse me, and then you're gonna go opposite elbow, opposite knee. One breath, continue to roll to the side, leg up, stretch your leg, relax on your right side. Put your leg down, push yourself up, opposite elbow, rotate, breathe in, breathe out, and then come back down, and then you're gonna repeat. And if I do a little more smooth motion, it would be like this. Go to the side. Kind of increase the, make the transition more smoother. So you can repeat that two or three times. And after that, so instead of doing the other side, you can stand up and then see how you feel, right? Then you can start to testing your splits, right? So you're gonna put your, and if you use yoga block, there's a three level, highest, right? And then medium, deep medium level height, and then the lowest height. So I'm gonna start from the medium for myself. So you can put, let's say I'm just stretch my left leg. I'm gonna put underneath my left seat. And then you put 
other block or you, if you have book you can do that so you're gonna stretch you can go forward checking how you feel and then eventually you kind of in more upright position and see how you feel now if this is too much right you can just level up go to the highest level and then just checking in but if you feel good then you can bit by bit you can go to the next level this is the lowest level and then maybe eventually that you can try and see you can do the full split and see how it feel okay so um that's the exercise and the stretching i hope this is helpful and if you have any question or you can think of anything that you have a question want to ask me how can help you to improve the uh, stretching or strengthening you can let me know so happy ballet and thank you for watching bye Thank you.